Hello everyone, appleandapps.com back with you. We're checking out Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy and our brand new in action video. This is the latest title from Capcom and it's support of a game that's back from uh, 2003 I believe for the Nintendo DS. And in this particular case there's all three episodes in the original trilogy as you can see here. The original is the first two cases are unlocked and then the additional ones are six dollars as you can see right here there's the purchase and we'll take you to the purchase option to show you all that's included So as you can see, you can purchase episode one for six and then the other two episodes for seven bucks each, or you can get a discount and get them all for 17 instead of 20. So let's start off with the third case. As the first two are free, you can play this. And the third one is the first in the series of the 699 pack. There's multiple days set up between investigation and trial. So we'll dive into the investigation and check out what exactly is going on. So we skipped ahead past the introduction of the actual case, but you're playing Phoenix Wright, he's a defense attorney, and this is your defendant, who's actually plays a TV character, and now there's been a murder where supposedly his character killed the villain, but it was in real life, so now he's uh, the main suspect in the murder. and. Each case has quite a unique storyline, plenty of humor to really keep you intrigued and invested throughout the entirety of the case. There's a lot going on, a lot of text. You can't actually fast forward through the text, which is a little disappointing, just slightly. But you do get a nice uh, details of the story. And now we got the background. And this is the intro aspect where you're getting information you have four different options you can examine the crime scene that's later on and then you can talk to your uh, client or you can talk to witnesses and then you can also move to different areas So now we have the alibi, and you take account of the different times that he mentioned in that initial briefing. So we're going to build this up, because we're building our case to defend our client, and you're going to get these little pieces of evidence along the way to then take to trial. Now we're going to go to the examination sequence. The games, they're split up. Each case is split up into either you're investigating and questioning witnesses or you're in the courtroom based on the investigations of the past. She'll give us a little bit more. So we got new times to deal with and a different person with their own motives and all of that kind of good stuff. 
And this is gonna come in later to play once you actually get in the courtroom, because it's likely she will be a witness. Now that she's directly counteracting what Mr. Power said regarding his alibi. Interesting. That's what the entire game is. It, it's really kind of like a logic-based puzzle game. It's interesting that it's completely like a text-based adventure rather than any quotes and stuff from, like, voice actors. And then, this is when you start getting evidence pieces. So let's move. So now we have our autopsy report. I'll dive more into a little bit of questioning. So after we talk to various people, we then get to examine items, and it's simply dragging your finger and where it highlights red are potential items that Phoenix will comment on and you could help find some clues. We can go into the dressing room now that we saw that it was unlocked. And this is where Power said that he was, so hopefully we'll find a piece of evidence that shows that he was actually here. So that's probably down the line. <laughs> Since the case is going to be set up into two days of investigation and two days of trials, you know it's not going to be that easy. Let's see, we'll check out the bed. So the card key might be able to tell us when he actually checked in, since the timing is going to be pivotal to this case. So we've jumped ahead to the courtroom sequence to give you the all-encompassing view of Ace Attorney. And with that in mind, we're in the cross-examination sequence. The witness has given our statements, and as previously mentioned, we knew the security guard would end up being a witness. So in this sequence, you can either press for more information or present counter evidence to their claims. And the entire time you're trying to throw them off to clear your defendant. The key component is the court record, which you can access. And these are the items that you discovered in the first part of the game when you're analyzing witnesses and then checking out different crime scenes. And then you're in the courtroom and this becomes more of a logic based puzzle game as you try to make your way through their and lies and try to spot what is not correct in what they're saying. Let's see, what's the best way? So we know that happened. Would she know that someone walked by at 2 p.m.? I thought it was a photo. Let's see, do we have the photo? Yes, we have the photo. So now this is where you get that good action sequence. It seems like some Dragon Ball Z type of battle. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! <laughs> I mean, even the character design falls right in line with that. And just, there's so much humor packed into almost every line of the game. It is a bit slow moving and tedious at times, but it's really worth it based on the overarching storyline that they've created in, the, in this Phoenix Wright storyline. And it's just such a unique experience. You have one aspect, which is like a point-and-click adventure when you're analyzing the different crime scenes and stuff. And then you go to the courtroom, like I said, it's a logic-based puzzle game, and it's combined together, and each episode is just so well-written, and there's so much to it. 
and there's 14 episodes overall if you spend $17. And this is episode three, just to give you an idea after the first two of what you're gonna get into. And this is multi-tiered, where you're gonna have multi-battles in the courtroom, as well as crime scene investigations. It, it combines CSI and Law and Order into one game, and then adds a whole bunch of action and humor, which is surprising that you could actually pull it out of this type of genre. Interesting. And this is just pretty much Ace Attorney. Capcom could have done better in porting it so it was actually made for iOS. The drawback is that there's borders on the iPhone 5 and the Retina iPads, so it's not optimized for the latest devices. But you do get Phoenix Wright in its full personality pack nature now tappable on your iOS device and to dive into these deluxe storylines. <laughs> it's really just amusing and if you're not familiar with the gameplay you're in for a treat and if you are it's nice to definitely re-experience because there's so much going on in these episodes. Really good animations by the character spaces. So many level sides. The game is over 10 years old, but you can't change, or you can't really mess with success of the base gameplay and the stories. So this is our Apple and Apps in action video, showing you all that Ace Attorney really has to offer you. There, there's a lot going on. You can try it yourself for free and then decide if the in-app purchases are worth it for you. And you'll definitely enjoy what you got into. And we'll be sure to talk to you next time.